Hello, my name is Bill. I'm one of the application engineers at Axis New England. And today I'm going to show you how to hook a servo motor up to a Xenos drive, check the phasing and encoder counts, and start the tuning process. So to start with, I have my main and logic power hooked up to the amplifier, as well as the feedback connector from the motor. But for now, I'm not going to plug in the motor power until I have the parameters loaded onto the drive. I then hook up a serial connection to my USB to serial converter and open up CME2. So now that we have CME2 open, we can start setting up the motor. I'm going to start by going up to basic setup in the top left here and change settings to enter new motor parameters. So we have a brushless rotary servo motor here, so that's fine. Digital hall type, single encoder on the motor only. We're operating in position mode. And we have sinusoidal commutation, so we can click finish. These changes will be saved to the amplifier. And that's when we click on the motor feedback button here on the main screen. All of these specifications can be found in either the tech doc or catalog page of the motor in question. Now we can hook up the motor power and move on to auto phasing. So we're going to click the button up top here. First we pick a direction that we want to consider positive. I'm going to go with clockwise looking at the motor face. Move it a few counts. Click next. Start the motor wiring setup. You'll see the motor move a little bit and the counts will change. Click next. This is the phase count test. Cobb is going to make sure that the motor move, actually did move one rotation. It's going to ask me to make sure that the motor moves one complete turn. I'll click OK. I'll watch the motor as it turns. It did. Click next. Now we're moving on to the hall wiring setup. So just as simple, click start. And finish. And the final step that we're going to show you is auto tuning the current loop. Let's start by clicking the I loop button. And down here you can see that they, the motor is, or the drive has already put in some default values based on the motor parameters that you entered. But now we're going to dial those in a little more. Click on auto tune. You then move on to tune the velocity and position loop. However, that's for a different video. Thanks for watching. I hope I have shown you how simple it is to hook up a motor and set up a Copley amplifier. Tune in next time for some new videos.